I was going nuts with the excavator today clearing some clearing the brush this stuff's just like carpet it's like ripping up carpet good thing I have the rake if I didn't have the rake I don't know what we do because this isn't the kind of stuff you can weed whack it's just like trying to tear up 10 layers of carpeting but making some progress I'm just gonna stroll halfway down here and the excavator is running good but had a little problem I've been putting it through his paces that's for sure
been holding up good. I thought I had a hydraulic leak, but I don't think I do. I think it was just, I happened to look at the gauge when it was on a hill. But this area right here was terrible. It was covered in vines and it's uneven and I got stuck down in here but the way it's been raining lately I was, I was hoping that we would the rain would hold off until this dried out so we could burn it but what happened was I uh, I backed into a tree <laughs> and of all places to back into a tree it, it backed in right right on the tailpipe of the excavator and I heard a ting 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 and then that was it I thought I thought I smashed something into the fan but went up to look at the opened the back panel and looked in there and what happened is the uh, one of the mounting bolts of the muffler sheared off <laughs> it didn't fall out it, it sheared off right at the head below the head and then that little piece of bolt was bouncing on the flywheel a little bit that's what I heard so it's just my luck now anybody ever try uh, bolt extraction in the field <laughs> There's, there's another bolt that holds the muffler on, but now it's kind of vibrating now. But I'll see if I can get a picture of it. Had a little problem. I don't know if you can see. It's right here. And if I, if I move the the muffler you can see and it's broken off below the surface so I'm, I'm gonna wait for a nicer day and see if we can take this cover off and take a look at it